Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello everybody. Oh, right, I'm going to rearrange my hair because I had an octopus sitting on my chair. Ha <laughs> ha! On my hair. Hmm, in my chair. Hello everybody and it's Fergie and friends and I'm welcome specs on where I'm, I'm welcome. No, you're welcome. And I'm thrilled to introduce you to The Purple Grasshopper, a story by Hannah Gizzlebash, illustrated by Katie Blakesley. Look at this. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. It's about a journey of a quirky grasshopper who struggles with accepting that she's different. Oh, well, I love her already. Don't you love her? Come on, then. There was once a purple grasshopper who was always felt alone. She hopped from field to meadow to find a place called home. All of the other grasshoppers didn't want to play. They laughed at her and pointed and made fun of her all day. Really? No. How cruel. And one day the little grasshopper found a bright green leaf. She rubbed and rolled all over it and then sighed with big relief. Finally, like all the others, she was also green. Look at me, she thought. I can't wait for them to see. She hopped back to the meadow, happy, free and proud. One by one, they all hopped over. They made a great big crowd. <gasps> Hi, new friend, they said, you're so very green. She was the greenest grasshopper that they had ever seen. They loved the new grasshopper and she loved not being alone. As they played and laughed and skipped, she felt like she was at home. But the more they played together, the more she started to feel sad. She wanted to tell them the truth. She, she started to feel really bad. Suddenly it started to get cold and all the crowd, clouds turned grey. Then rain began pouring down. The grasshoppers all hopped away. Into a nearby cave they went to find shelter from the storm. And there they huddled close together trying to stay warm. <gasps> Once the rain stopped and the sun returned, they came out of the cave. It was then the purple grasshopper knew. She had to be brave. <laughs> In the rain, she'd gotten wet. She was no longer green. She was once again bright purple and all of her new friends had seen. <gasps> the green grasshopper stared at her and she felt all alone. Once again, the purple, purple grasshopper felt like she didn't have a home. You lied to us, the grasshopper said. You aren't green at all. Tell us why. Tell Yes, you tell us why you had to lie at all. I don't think she lied, she just didn't say. <laughs> Softly, the purple grasshopper said, I did not want to lie, I just wanted to play with you. <laughs> Beneath the bright blue sky, I thought because I was different, you wouldn't play with me. I just wanted to be part of your enormous big family. But you wouldn't play when I was different. You only want me to be the same, but I can only be myself. In fact, I think, I think, I like my purple shade. I will not be bullied. No. Well done. Well done. For being blue, purple or green, I'm going to love myself because to be different, it is actually to be seen. And with that, the purple grasshopper began to hop away from the crowd. She was growing brave and strong. She was trying to be proud. The purple grasshopper knew that she was special. She began to understand hmm, that always being your true self is actually quite grand. And then a green grasshopper hopped forward and spread her arms out wide. Come here, she whispered softly. You do not need to hide. Yes, you do look different, but you don't have to change. We all hop and jump and skip and play. We really are all the same. Hmm. Looking around the meadow, the purple grasshopper thought, maybe I'm being silly and somehow I forgot that like all of the others, I'm a grasshopper too. It does not really matter if I'm purple, green or blue. She gazed around the meadow and let out a happy sigh. <sighs> she finally felt that she was home and she now knew the reason why. Thank you all my dearest friends for letting me be me forgiving me for the lie I told and letting me be free. For the purple grasshopper understood that it is brave to be yourself, sure is, but it also takes some courage to make friends and ask for help. So together all the grasshoppers hopped out in the sun. They jumped and played and skipped around, all having so much fun. 
Then with a happy heart, the purple grasshopper started to sing. Because to truly love yourself, it's the most wonderful thing. So she played the day away, <clears throat> tall and proud and strong. Yo, now she fully understood. She had been perfect all along. The amazing world around her had so many different things, from tiny little insects to giant birds with wings. Each and every creature deserves to laugh and dance and sing because it's all our differences that make the world. Hmm, oh so very interesting. Bye everybody. With Fergie and friends, with Fergie and friends,